what's up everybody? My name is Kyle. Today we're going to be making ourselves a jack-o-lantern. It's Halloween today, so it fits the bill. Um, you're going to see here that I did this entirely freestyle. Uh, I did not draw on this pumpkin at all. I didn't go into it with any kind of plan. Uh, I didn't really do anything other than just start carving. That's kind of the way I worked. Uh, I do already have a style that I kind of work with. I do work with a uh, cartoon, as you can tell. Uh, this is very cartoony, kind of comic booky kind of style. Um, you can also see that uh, mistakes do happen. Uh, the teeth area is missing on the top teeth, but that's entirely okay. He's a little bit less toothy than he should be. Uh, but what happened here was the profile for the nose. Whenever I cut away some of the flesh, it wasn't kind of as thick as I had expected. Uh, so we kind of make the mistakes work for us. So that said, uh, the tools that I use to make this are very simple. Uh, I just have three simple tools. It is a standard Halloween style kitchen knife. I use a standard uh, little pocket knife. You can use any kind of pocket knife you want. You can even use a smaller kitchen knife. That's going to work just fine for you as well. Um, and then the last tool that's a little more specialized is uh, just a little loop sculpting tool. Um, sorry, a loop sculpting tool. It is a very simple tool, but uh, it might not be in your uh, your tool chest as it is right now. Um, but this is kind of used more for kind of like sculpting out areas around the nose uh, to give it a little more depth, kind of cutting into around the eye socket area to give a little bit more recessed look. It's very good for doing the gums and teeth. Um, but if you don't have something like this, uh, using a, a standard knife, uh, like a pocket knife or a kitchen knife, uh, you can use it kind of like in this kind of manner. Uh, that looks very uh, dangerous. Uh, but yes, uh, you can use it basically cut grooves uh, into uh, the teeth area, kind of around the gums and things like that as well. I'll stop waving that knife around right now. Uh, but yes, so this is what we're going to be making. Uh, if you want to hold on here, and if you like this kind of thing, uh, feel free to subscribe. I'm going to be doing more of this stuff in the future. Um, so that said, let's just get to it.
All right, guys, so the jack-o'-lantern is done. It is all ready to sit outside and wait for trick-or-treaters to come by. So that said, if you did like this project, if you enjoyed following along, uh, either making one yourself or just enjoyed watching, uh, feel free to smash that subscribe button right there, or there, or there, or there, or wherever they put it on YouTube now. Um, and I'm going to be doing stuff like this in the future. I'm going to be doing uh, lots of other projects, not necessarily just pumpkin-related, but I am going to be doing uh, other things, like if you can see on my bench, there's some metalworking stuff and that going on back there. I'm going to be doing uh, some paintings and drawings and stuff. So it's not going to be limited just to this kind of work. It's this is a channel all about creativity and kind of finding things that you enjoy to enjoy doing. Um, and I hope it inspires all of you to start doing some things that you enjoy as well. That's kind of my plan here is to get everybody involved in making stuff. So that said. We're going to see you later.